Are you thinking about paying off your mortgage early? Many people, especially first time home buyers, take out 30 year mortgages. And that's a long time to be paying that debt. And you're gonna pay a lot in interest as well. So in this video, I'm going to give you three ways to apply more principal payments to your mortgage to pay it off early. But I'm also going to discuss with you, should you even pay off your mortgage early? Like, does it make good financial sense? So I'm going to go over the three ways, then does it make sense? And then you can decide for yourself whether you're going to pay off your mortgage early or not. I'm Shahida Hill, getting you over the hill to home ownership and helping you confidently buy your first home. We are going to use an example of buying a $400,000 house and putting a down payment of 5%. So that would be $20,000. And you would be borrowing $380,000 with an interest rate of 7%. And that will give you a monthly principal and interest payment of $2,528. We're not gonna talk about taxes and insurance and that sort of thing because as long as you own that property, you're probably going to still have to pay your property taxes. You're still going to have to pay your insurance. So we're really talking about just paying off that $380,000. When you close on your home, the lender is going to give you a amortization table that's going to tell you for every single month over the next 30 years, how much of your payment is going to go to principal, then that's paying down that $380, and how much is going to go to them for interest. That's going to be how they're going to profit off of this mortgage. And typically that interest amount is significant. So the faster you can pay down that principal, the less interest you're going to pay um, on the life of the loan because they're always applying that 7% to what you owe them. So the less you owe, the less you're going to pay over time. So I'm going to give you these three different ways and figure out which one is easiest for you and which one you can afford to pay your mortgage off early. The first strategy would be just making one extra mortgage payment per year. So taking that $2,528 a month and dividing it by 12 and sending in to the mortgage company one extra principal payment of $210 per month. And if you do that over um, every year, you'll wind up taking six years and 10 months off of your mortgage. Easy way to pay down that principal. So if you get into the habit of sending that extra principal payment, you need to make sure you set this up with your mortgage company so that you're paying this extra principal payment $210 per month or calculate um, what you have. I'm going to share some tools with you so you can calculate this on your own. But if you send in that extra $210 per month, that's just, and that winds up being just one extra mortgage payment per year, you're going to wind up taking six years and 10 months off of your mortgage. So that's the first way that you can you know, an easy way, pretty much the easiest way. Everybody can figure out, okay, I can make one extra payment per year. Let's get to strategy number two. The second strategy would be paying at least half of your mortgage payment each month. So this is up and only if you can afford it. So you would be sending in an extra $1,264 every month and you would be sending that in with your regular payment. And again, you wanna make sure you're applying that to the principal. If you do not set this up so it's applied correctly with your mortgage company, they may just apply it to future payments. So it's very important that you set this up. But if you are able to send half of your mortgage payment in each month, that would shave 12 years and eight months off of your mortgage. So you'll be able to pay your mortgage in less than 18 years. And we're gonna talk about whether it makes sense or not, but one of the things when my husband and I bought our house, we wanted to make sure our mortgage was paid off before our kids went to um, college. So when you're thinking about 18 years, that's typically when you know children go off to college, they may leave your house. So if you have any like, young children, you maybe want to make it a goal that you'll get that mortgage paid off in 18 years. And now to our third strategy. This is the eight year strategy that you saw in the title or in the thumbnail of this video. 
If you wanted to pay off your 30 year mortgage in eight years, you would have to double your mortgage payment. So you're gonna send in a principal payment equal to the principal and interest portion of your monthly payment. If you double it for um, eight years, you'll pay off your complete mortgage within eight years. So this is really good. The other way you can always do this, you don't have to take out a 30 year loan. I'm gonna add this in here. You can take out, in some cases, you can take out a 10 year loan or a 15 year mortgage. Those are much more popular. But if you wanna make sure you're gonna pay off that mortgage within 15 years, instead of doing a 30 year loan, then look to see what would be the, the payment on a 15 year loan. But here's the question that I promised you at the beginning of this video but should you? Paying off your mortgage is a huge emotional accomplishment. You feel, okay, I officially own something free and clear. I have nothing that I owe on it. And that is something like when I said that we wanted to have our house paid off by the time my child goes to college, then that was an emotional thing to say, okay, we're finished. At least we know we have our house. It's paid off. It's one of our largest expenses. And then, you know, we'll probably have new expenses as they go into college. So that was one of the things, but that's emotional. When we look at financial, our more, our interest rate on our mortgage is about 3%. And so we have to think, can we make more money if we invested those extra payments into retirement accounts for the most part or other investments that might help me gain or help us gain more money over time. So there could be between an eight and 10% um, chance of you um, making that money in the stock market, for example, or if you had you know, your money invested in an index fund or other kinds of investments that might have a higher yield than um, you paying off a 3% or a 2% mortgage. The higher your interest rate on your mortgage, the more it could make sense for you to pay off that mortgage, but you're going to have to weigh the benefit of paying off your mortgage and you have to weigh that emotional benefit as well because you're gonna have a huge emotional benefit of saying, hey, I paid this off. And so for me, I try to balance both that we're not going to rush and pay off that mortgage, but we're going to pay off the mortgage um, probably earlier than the 30 years but we're also going to make sure we're maxing out those retirement accounts, maxing out any other um, investments that we have as far as like 529 college savings plans before we put extra money toward the mortgage. But that is still a goal of ours. And then once your mortgage is paid off, you can take the money that you would normally pay for your mortgage and put them into other investment vehicles. So it usually makes more sense the higher your interest rate is on your mortgage and less sense if you have a really low mortgage payment because you probably could make more money in investment of that extra principal payment. But for a lot of people, it's like a balance of you fit, wanting to feel free from that debt um, versus making sure that you're making the smart financial decision of making sure your investments in other areas are maxed out. If you have any questions about um, paying off your mortgage early, please put them in the comments. I hope this helped you. I'm going to put a link to an amortization calculator so you can calculate how quickly you can pay off your mortgage depending on how much extra you can put towards your principal. And then I'll also put in a, um, a 401k and a Roth IRA calculator and they can average out for the most part what you might be able to earn if you were to invest that same money. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, again, please put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.